Hi, Brightsville kids. I'm Pastor Julia. I have a question for you. Do you know how tall you are? If you were here, I could take my tape measure and see. I could measure you and see how tall you are. Maybe you are 32 inches or maybe you are 40 inches. I don't know. You could maybe ask your parent at home and see if you have a tape measure and you could find out how tall you are. Well, I am five feet tall plus two inches. I am five feet, two inches. And that's a pretty normal size for a grown up to be, but I've always been a little bit short. And when I was younger, maybe your age, I was really short. I was almost always the shortest in my group of friends or the shortest in my class. And it was really frustrating sometimes. Maybe you, even if you aren't very tall or very short for your age, I bet you're one of the shorter people in a lot of places that you go. Maybe if you're in a crowd or trying to watch some parade or a show and there's someone tall standing in front of you and it's so hard to see. It can be frustrating when you're too small to reach something on a shelf that you want to get to and you have to get out a step stool or a ladder. It is hard when you can feel like you're too small for the rest of the world. Well, today we're reading a story in scripture that's about someone who felt like that. His name was Zacchaeus. And we don't know actually how tall he was based on our tape measurer, but we do know that he was pretty short. And he struggled because Jesus was gonna come by in something kind of like a parade. And he really wanted to see Jesus. But he couldn't see him because there were lots of tall people standing in front of him. The other thing about Zacchaeus is that he wasn't very nice. He had a job called a chief tax collector, and that meant that it was his job to collect money from people, but for good reasons, but what he would do is he would ask for more money than they actually needed to give him, and he'd keep it for himself. So a lot of people didn't like Zacchaeus. So no one was going to save him a seat or move so that he could see Jesus coming by. So do you know what Zacchaeus did? He climbed up into a tree so that he could see Jesus. And here's what's really surprising. Jesus noticed him in the tree and he came and he looked up at him and he said his name. He said, Zacchaeus. Now, I bet if I were Zacchaeus, I'd be nervous that maybe Jesus was going to be mad at me about the bad, mean things that I'd done. But that's not what Jesus said. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, come down from that tall tree because I want to have dinner at your house today. Can you believe that? Jesus knew Zacchaeus' name and had him come down from the tree to spend time with him. You know, no matter if you are tall or you're short or you have straight hair or curly hair or brown eyes or green eyes or blue eyes, no matter what, God knows you and God knows your name and God wants to spend time with you. And that can change everything. After Zacchaeus came down and had time to spend with Jesus, his whole life changed. And in fact, he wanted to be generous and give to other people. So he gave back all of the money that he had stolen plus a bunch extra. That's the kind of difference that it makes when we know Jesus. And that is really good news. Let's say a prayer now together. God, Thank you for making us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you that you know us by name and you love us no matter what. We love you too. In Jesus' name, amen.